This is a quick review uh, of the Grandstream GXV3504. Uh, I previously made the review um, not using Internet Explorer and it was quite um, quite a different experience. Uh, Grindstream get, got back to me really quickly and, and told me where to enable the options and, and what to do. So here's um, the revised review. Uh, basically the, the frame rate is a lot better now so when I wave at the camera it, it's it's quite quite good. Um, also if I go into the configuration previously this option did not show up at all. I'm, I'm guessing it was added in a later firmware um, and when I've updated the browser cache didn't, didn't show the new option. Uh, so now you can enable uh, 4 times D1 which before uh, individually changing the channel configurations you couldn't enable this option at all. Um, so let's see what what this looks like now. So I'm, I'm going to start um, downloading an MJPG stream from every one of the channels. So here we go, 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, so let me wave at the camera and we'll see what kind of what kind of results we're gonna get from, from all four channels. But it's looking a lot <clears throat> a lot better now, so I'm, I'm hoping hoping that the quality will be good. Uh, so let me stop all this and I'll play test one the MJPG. Um they're claiming about thirteen frames per second, so let me try playing it with at thirteen frames per second. Yeah, I mean looking at the the, the, the seconds here. Uh, it's looking about close to to what we expect, and the motion is quite smooth. Uh, so quite a usable little uh, video adapter. Uh, if you, if you, I mean, it doesn't have um, features such as privacy masks and noise reduction. You can see in the in the video if I play it again, uh, there is uh, there is quite a lot of noise. All, all this noise uh, you, is not visible on on something like an Axis M uh, seven oh one four. Um, but it, it's it's quite usable. It's quite it's quite good, and for the price, you can't really complain. It's it's almost twice as cheap as as the cheapest um, other manufacturers manufacturer offering I could find. Uh, so not many features, but it it seems reasonable now when it has audio on all channels, which I haven't yet tested. Um, but yeah, with with later firmwares, it, it is significantly more useful, especially with this uh, MJPG over HTTP functionality. Hope somebody finds this useful.